Hi there and welcome to this lecture about Sweden's history. Today we will talk about the later half of the year 2022. My name is Marcus Henriksson and I'm a history teacher here in Sweden. During this time we can see that more and more people here in Sweden now wanted to sell their homes and properties. But the prices still remained very high. We can also see that the class divisions here in Sweden grew rapidly during this time. Sweden had now bigger class gaps than both United States and Nigeria. How big you might ask? Well, 0.1% of the population here in Sweden owned 25% and 1%, that is the richest percent, owned about 60% of all the wealth. The middle class here in Sweden during this time owned about 20% and if you compare them to let's say Germany, so the middle class in Germany owns 40%, that is double. During the corona pandemic here in Sweden, we got more and more billionaires and the economy as a whole grew, but the largest part of the wealth went to the richest 1% of the population. CEO salaries here in Sweden are now 670 times higher than that of an average worker. And most people here in Sweden have become rich because of stuff like inheritance. Many people here in Sweden, rich daddies and corporations have put their money in various tax havens such as Panama, Bahamas, Cayman Islands, Jersey Islands and so on. This makes the money difficult to access and some Swedes owe the state billions. New research. Where you grow up is very crucial to success later in life. The richer the area, the better your chances are. And we had some fake news on TikTok. Social service here in Sweden were criticized for kidnapping children. And rainwater is now dangerous to drink if you drink it a lot and during a long, 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 long time. Turkey then chose to stop the Pride Festival with violence. And in Norway, the Pride Parade was also stopped by a bomber, two dead and around 20 injured. The inflation during this time continued to rise both in Sweden and the United States to 9%, 10% in Great Britain, 25% in Estonia. However, it was still worse in countries such as Turkey, Sri Lanka and Lebanon. They had around 70% inflation. In the social media and in the media in general here in Sweden and in the United States there were talks about greedflation. That companies put higher prices in order to have continued large profits. However, the fact that they themselves, that is the government, both in Sweden and United States, have pumped in a lot of new money for the last 10 years, especially during the corona pandemic, was still something that didn't receive much media attention. The war in Ukraine continued and it was very locked positions, many deaths on both sides. But now it was time for a new election here in Sweden. And it was followed by intense political debates. Stuff like nuclear power, electricity consumption, consumption in general, crime and criminality, healthcare system, and so on. And it was incredibly even between the two blocks here in Sweden, that is the right block and the left block. Here are some election promises. More support due to higher electricity prices, cheaper public transport, lower taxes, more cops and harder punishment for criminals. But more and more young people in Sweden started to favor the right wing parties such as the Christian Democrats, the Moderate Party and the Sweden Democrats. 
However, this not uh, did not receive much media attention. The Social Democrats here in Sweden warned once again that uh, Sweden Democrats, SD, are dangerous and a threat to the Swedish country and to the democracy. Exactly how that is is theory very unclear. Biden did the same in the United States. He warned his followers about Trump and his supporters and that they are a threat to the American democracy. The healthcare system in Sweden were still in crisis mode. It came out that some hospitals here in Sweden have ignored the so-called the care guarantee because they didn't want to get fines. Swedish doctors also treat only half as many people as in other countries, for example Great Britain, Germany, Finland, Denmark, Norway and so on, because of too much administrative work and too few resources. We also got to know the fact that about 100,000 accidents occur in Swedish hospitals every year, mainly due to the shortage of staff. The Swedish government then gave some money in guarantee to the electric uh, or the electricity companies here in Sweden about 250 billion Swedish crowns. The government however received some criticism because there are companies like Facebook and Google who have large server halls here in Sweden that draw enormous amounts of electricity but didn't pay tax. The right won the Swedish election, the Social Democrats became the largest party, but the Sweden Democrats grew and the moderate party, the Sweden Democrats, the Christian Democrats and the Liberal Party gained so much votes that they could form a new government. And here are some of the changes that they have promised to make. Stronger border controls more returners, less asylum here in Sweden, tightened requirements for citizenship. When it comes to crime, they have promised more deportations for various crimes such as rape, national consensus, visitation zones in some certain Swedish cities, double punishment for gangs and gang criminality, anonymous witnesses, Remove the sentence reduction over the age of 18, higher penalties for violent crimes and sexual crimes, and abolish the quantity discount when it comes to crimes. When it comes to energy, they promised more nuclear power, less offshore wind power, that Sweden will be fossil free until the year 2045 instead of renewable in 2040, electricity efficiency improvement, more solar power and cheaper petrol. Then there were some protests in Iran. Many people there were really angry because of the moral police who had punished people without the veil or who wore it in a wrong way. Thousands of people were imprisoned for this and quite a few people, let's say 200-300 people, were killed during these protests. But they also led to protests here in Sweden, in the capital of Stockholm, Gothenburg, Malmö and so on. The war in Ukraine continued, but now they are getting worse for Russia, as the West, including Sweden of course, are sending more aid and more weapons and money to Ukraine. But then the Russians started to mobilize their army. There were talks about 300,000 soldiers to 1 million new soldiers. And then the gas lines in the Baltic Sea were destroyed and there are different theories about who was behind it. In the east you blame mostly United States and in the west you blame mostly Russia. But you should know that the west has most to gain from this uh, destroyed pipelines because they remove Putin's ability to turn on the taps. Some countries such as Norway and the United States profited also from this a lot. Norway opened for example the day after the attack a new gas pipeline to Poland and to Great Britain. 
And you should also take into consideration the fact that none of the Sweden's power cables located in exactly the same spot and place as the gas pipelines that were destroyed. They didn't, however, get destroyed. In fact, they were shut down just before the attacks. Joe Biden has also said on several occasions that he would destroy North, North Stream pipelines in one way or another. Then there were talks in Swedish media about bol uh, boats in the Baltic Sea, that they were putting out big emissions. Boats were not allowed to release so much gas into the air as before, instead they released a lot in the sea. Not so good if you ask me. Then the coastal fishing here in Sweden came into crisis mode. Apparently they had miscalculated the fish quotas, so you could still take up, uh, take up a lot of fish but there wasn't so much fish to take out. Story time for young children were criticized in Kalmar, a Swedish town, uh, because they used drag queens. The rainforest in Brazil mostly are still being cleared at an even faster rate than before. This led to protests uh, in some certain European cities, people glued themselves to walls. Uh, they attacked paintings with things like tomato soup and so on. Here in Sweden, people decided to block the roads, mostly in the capital Stockholm. And this led to major criticism because some ambulances couldn't get to the hospitals, so people died. Great Britain then got into economic crisis mode. Liz Trust, the new British Prime Minister, now intended to implement the tax cuts that she had promised before, but instead the entire country's economy was basically collapsing. Why? Well, because the banks in Great Britain have used the pension funds in order to push down the interest rate on the bank loans as some kind of guarantee. Now that the interest rates were getting higher, the pension system was about to go, yeah. So the central bank in Great Britain had to step in, in order to save everything. But Liz Truss then had to resign. In Sweden, Stefan Ingves, the previous chief of the Swedish central bank, had sent in 1000 billions as a guarantee to push down the interests here in Sweden. So right now the situation is under control. However, if the interest rate continue to rise and the inflation continue to rise, Sweden will be in great difficulties. More things to know. The pensions here in Sweden work in a very different way from other countries. In most countries, you take the pensions and you put them in certain funds so that it is separated from the state's budget. But here in Sweden, the pensions go straight into the Swedish treasury. So if we get financial problems in the future, the problems here in Sweden will be much bigger than in other countries. But yeah, right now we have record low interest rates. However, you should also know that if you can't slow inflation down, you need to higher the interest rates. But then you risk the fact that you could crush the housing market and the stock market. Stock market. During this year, we can see a record high bank profit in most banks. In total, the largest banks here in Sweden made 103 billion in profit. Here are some new revelations also during the year. Doctors are increasingly reported here in Sweden for prescribing large quantities of addictive, uh, addictive medications, but they are rarely punished. Many former ministers here in Sweden still collect extra uh, compensation, economical, when they leave the job, despite the fact that they often continue to work for the Swedish parliament in one way or another. In Lebanon, in 2019, banks stopped the ability for people to withdraw their money because the currency had lost too much value. More and more people, therefore, robbed the banks in order to access their own money. 
In 2022, Russia annexed several areas in Ukraine, including Donetsk and Luhansk. And they said that if Russia was threatened, they will use nuclear weapons. Ukraine's response, we will continue the war and we will win the war. They also now try to join NATO. Sweden, however, received certain criticism for the media reportation during the war. Swedish media received criticism regarding the fact that the neutrality of the media reportation here in Sweden regarding Ukraine, that only 10% takes place on site and the rest comes from large news agencies, mostly abroad, from Great Britain and the US. But yeah, we had a new government here now in Sweden. Moderaterna, the moderate party, Kristdemokraterna, the Christian Democrats, uh, Liberalerna, the Liberal Party, and they were supported by the SD, Sweden Democrats. Ulf Kristersson for the Moderate Party became the new Swedish Prime Minister. But the leader of the Sweden Democrats, Jimmy Åkesson, he could however not go to the Nobel Party once more. He was still re rejected. But uh, Iran got to go, and Saudi Arabia got to go, and so on. Some people here in Sweden find that odd. And then we have some kind of problematic development when it comes to democracy here in Sweden. According to some new research, it came out that only about 50% of the Swedish population wanted people in the Swedish parliament that they liked. They didn't want people they didn't like. And one in five Swedes wanted to restrict other people's freedom of expression completely. This, however, didn't apply to minorities, religious groups and individuals with different kinds of sexual orientation. Instead, it replied mostly to Sweden Democrats, uh, ab abortion opponents, and vaccine opponents. We can also now see a closer military cooperation with the United States. And two brothers here in Sweden were suspected of espionage for Russia. They were supposed to have sent classified information to Russia during 10 years' time. But yeah, now the EU raised the policy rate or the interest rate by 0.75%, the biggest in their history. But most economists don't think that that is enough. And now there were talk in Swedish media about a record high interest rates, record high rates overall. But you should know that the interest rates are still historically very low here in Sweden. And there was also a lot of talk about falling house prices, a house crash, and so on, despite record high house prices. And since Stefan Ingves, uh, the head of the Swedish Central Bank, had put an up 1,000 billion Swedish crown as a guarantee for that the interest would still in the future be low. He lost about 60 billion Swedish crowns due to increased interest rates. But now we can see a new Swedish budget from the moderate party, the Christian Democrats, the Liberal Party and the Sweden Democrats. And yeah, there were some reduced petrol and diesel tax, more uh, money for defense, more money for Swedish schools, more money for the police, and so on. And in order to do this, they cut down on stuff like aid to foreign countries and the environment. Now the, it came out that we can see a smaller Eurovision in the future because more and more countries have dropped out due to the fact that it costs too much money. We can also now see a new record in fatal shootings here in Sweden. What else happened? Well, MSB, 
they need more money. They are tasked here in Sweden with protecting Sweden in when it comes to crisis and stuff like that, large fires and so on. LSS here in Sweden received criticism. They are supposedly, uh, they work with, let's say, helping people with disabilities. But it came out that even some blind people and deaf people are denied support and help. More new regiments here in Sweden are created as we speak. The shortage of medical staff here in Sweden continued. Patients are laid out in the corridors and so on. Only the left party here in Sweden want to see uh, a raise when it comes to their wages. There were also some new research um, when it comes to suicide and femicide and that they are interrelated. The police have therefore now switched their focus here in Sweden and in the future they will primarily hunt men who have suicidal thoughts. Because men who have suicidal thoughts are also more likely to attack their women. And then it came out that we can see a bunch of sale of sex in massage parlors here in Sweden. And Sweden became the chairman of the EU. The sources I have used for this video and lecture are all national news here in Sweden every day under the year 2022. I have also used different newspapers such as Dagens Industri, Today's Industry here in Sweden, DN, Dagens Nyheter, Today's News, and these ones as well. Feel free to post a video if you like and check them out. These ones, these ones, these ones, these ones, these ones, these ones, these ones. These ones. But if any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye!